All right, guys. Well, <laughs> it's just been another fucking wasted evening here in the end times on this frosty night. That would be uh, Monday, October 17, 2022. So it has finally happened, those cheapskate mo Well, I don't know. Is it the cheapskate motherfuckers over at Pile of Fish? Or is it the cheapskate motherfuckers like 90% of the people on Pile of Fish, including your Australia, using the site without paying for it? So, uh... I guess the news is getting around the cheapskate Lonely Heart community that pile of fish is no longer free, that there is virtually nothing left. The only thing that you can do for free now, uh, I guess just starting, I think it actually started today. Uh, or maybe simply because I went in there and started tinkering with my profile today that uh, I, I, I just got the news. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I have wasted another night on um, pile of fish. So I guess this is the universe telling me, just give the fucking give up the fucking ghost of pile at pile of fish. Uh, I, I can imagine what's going to happen to the number of people using pile of fish. I'm also just assuming, I don't know, I mean, uh, that the other, quote, free internet dating sites, if they're not no longer free, you can bet that certainly uh, by the end of the year there will be no more free internet dating for cheapskate lonely hearts. So uh, what set all this off is, uh, you know, as, as, as the black wall of depression uh, starts to close in on me as old man winter approaches here in mid-October. Just, just looking at my various choices, my figuring out which is the least miserable. You know, trying to, always trying to straddle the line between basically miserable and truly horrible. That I'm simply for the next six months trying to be basically miserable. If I can just stay in the camp of basically miserable between now and the time it warms up in six months, uh, I will be doing, you know, I will be a little bit ahead of the game. So uh, I'm, I'm going into panic mode as winter time uh, gets here that uh, I, I, I'm getting all different messages from the universe, which started with this unadulterated horseshit with this fucking truck title, where, you know, I went in there on September 26th, September 26th, and they told me, I, you know, I need to make this appointment to get this inspection, which will take about five minutes. But it could take months, that's plural, months to get the five-minute inspection to, uh, to get my registration for, for this truck. This is unfucking believable but it, that, that's really just one of, uh, uh, of many messages uh, I am getting from the universe about that the whole idea of just doing, you know, hook it up this fucking trailer to the back of this truck and, and heading out spending thousands of dollars to uh, wander around aimlessly uh, from here to God knows where, uh, it, it, it's just getting more and more pointless. So I'm 
um, I'm facing the horrific prospect of uh, actually spending the winter in upstate New York and the very thought of that uh, it, it is sending me quickly into panic mode I, I, I can feel this dark uh, depression just rolling over me so I'm, 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 I'm grabbing at straws at this point trying to figure out what the fuck am I gonna do with my fucking life for the next six months without ending up just, you know, just uh, mired down in a brutal fucking dark suicidal depression. Uh, and it's just like every fucking option. Uh, all I see is a, is a fucking brick wall. Uh, no, 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 no matter what choice I make, sorry, uh, I, I, you know, I'm fucked. Uh, it, it's it's just, just, just every possible thing I'm turning to. So my newest idea, <clears throat> okay, is, uh, all right, if I can just, if, if, if I can make it through to like January, all right, and then uh, just take a break for somewhere between like four and eight weeks. Just take a, 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 a fucking tropical vacation just to get down. And instead of doing six months of just roaming around aimlessly, uh, wearing out my welcome between everywhere from here to Florida to to uh, Austin, Texas and spending all of this fucking money and, 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 and just uh, finding myself sitting alone in that fucking trailer with my thumb up my fucking ass uh, wondering you know, what the fuck, how the fuck did I get here? And so uh, now I'm thinking, okay, uh, since it, it, it doesn't matter what you do, Hambone, you're, you're, you're heading into a major pit of hell, you know, teetering on the point of the truly miserable, uh, I mean, the truly horrible. Uh, so I'm thinking of, uh, you know, heading off on some tropical vacation, but for someone who has lived for seven years, in, in all of these tropical paradises uh, down there alone. You, you know, go, going down to, to fucking Costa Rica, Guatemala, wherever the fuck, a, you know, for a few weeks, couple of months maybe. Uh, and then, then, of course, there's the problem of Sancho. Do I try to take him? Uh, there, there's all of that shit. But it's uh, just the thought of being alone in paradise in, in, in some ways is even more fucking brutal uh, than, uh, than, than hanging out here. Uh, so now what, I, what I'm doing is, is <laughs> just having the wild fantasy of finding a travel partner. And, uh, well, hell, I guess I'll just throw it out there as long as I'm, I'm sitting here. Uh, you, you know, at, at, at this point, at this point, uh, I, I don't give a fuck uh, if, if my travel partner has a damn dick. You know, obviously, I, I have some fantasy uh, of some romantic tropical getaway, but, but at this point... Uh, just, uh, y you know, just being down there alone, Jesus fucking Christ. So I'm throwing this out there to anybody at this point, but of course, you know, I was suffering this little tropical, uh, this little pathetic tropical romance fantasy here at age 63. I've, uh, I've spent seven fucking years 
uh, in various tropical paradises. Uh, how many times have I gotten laid in seven years of traveling around down there? Like four or five times, and every one of them was with, uh, you know, American or European chicks. Uh, I, I have never in my entire life uh, hooked up with, uh, you know, with a damn Latina. Um, so I go on Pile of Fish and I gut my entire profile. I rip down my entire profile and uh, I, I start from scratch to write a new profile, uh, you know, looking for, uh, it was, the title of it was uh, Snowbird uh, in Search of Travel Buddy for to Tropical Paradise or something like that. You know, a pile of fish is, is what they do is, you know, at the top of the profile, they have the little catchphrase, you, you know, where you sum up what you're fucking looking for. No shit, Sherlock. This, this is one of the main features of fucking Pile of Fish. Is, of course, is the photograph and then the name of my Pile of Fish uh, handle is Snowbird Sam. So I got my photo, Snowbird Sam, and then there's the little, you know, the little slug line underneath. Uh, you know, talking about what you're looking for in a few words. So uh, anyway, so I, I got the whole, the whole profile and uh, put in there that I'm looking, you know, I'm a snowbird looking for a travel partner to uh, head, you, you know, on, on some tropical vacation. So anyway, here is my new uh, pile of fish profile. I am a snowbird who has spent the past three years overwintering in Florida, but this year I am hoping to head somewhere more exotic, more tropical, a little less MAGA infested, hopefully a lot cheaper, and preferably not beaten up by a hurricane. If you have any similar ideas rolling around in your head, but are not thrilled about the idea of traveling alone, I think we should get together and talk. Between now and Thanksgiving, I will be winding down my Airbnb. You can find my place on Airbnb or Hip Camp under Bugs in a Jar Farm. But after the holidays wind down, I am thinking of heading south, probably flying, but I am open to driving, possibly to Guatemala, Costa Rica, Ecuador, or the Caribbean. I am wide open to suggestion, but my hazy vision is to rent one place for four to eight weeks that offers basic accommodations with a private bathroom and decent internet being my only spoiled gringo requirements. We can take short trips from base camp, but I am getting too old for dragging a backpack around. I have lived for three years in Costa Rica and spent a lot of time in Guatemala, Peru, Ecuador, and St. Croix so I know the real estate pretty well in those places. I am also open to any new ideas. Once we have settled into our nest, I am still young enough and hard in body to be the spontaneous, free-spirited gadabout I have always been. Okay, Snowbird Sam, get to the point I want to hear about, meaning what the, any woman reading this uh, wants to hear about. <clears throat> Obviously, I would love to fall madly in love with any woman just crazy enough to answer this message, and we could waltz off together into a tropical sunset and live happily ever after, 
or at least until springtime, whichever comes first. Of course, I would also love to find a million dollars lying on the sidewalk, and I realize that the chance of either of these things happening are about equal. So, I am not kidding myself, though, huh, though, huh, huh, though, huh, huh, hope still springs eternal in my jaded 63-year-old heart. At this point in my life, I am a lot more concerned about how bad you snore than I am about how well you kiss or that you look better in a Guatemalan chicken bus than you do in a string bikini, okay? The thought of having dinner and drinks alone while gazing over a gorgeous tropical sunset for weeks on end just does not excite me the way it used to. If the universe drops Dulcinea into Don Juan's lap, great, but if not, I would rather have Sancho Panza by my side than nobody. I hope that answers your question, as it is the best answer I have. Past that, we can figure out the other few million details between now and Christmas. If anything I said here remotely interests you, you are someone I would like to meet. So I write this whole fucking thing, type it out, do all of this other attendant shit. Uh, you know, it takes a, lot, a long time to do this shit. <clears throat> so I post my new profile. I post my new profile. I went and checked it. Everything looked fine. And then what happened is a couple of hours later, I get a message from the Pile of Fish team. And when I click on it, suddenly the entire website has changed. The entire layout, everything about it has completely changed from the way it's looked, you know, for the past several years. And I just said, oh, fuck. This is not a good sign. You know, then they talk about the new improved uh, pile of fish and all of this. So of course, the first thing I wanted to see is whether my new profile came through. Well, it did come through, but one thing they have done on the fucking website is, is they've dropped the, uh, you know, the little tagline uh, where you summarize in a few words what you're looking for. Uh, so now you got your picture and your moniker. So I got my photo in Snowbird Sam with no title under it about what I'm looking for. That you have to, you, you know, go in and, and read the fucking profile to figure out anything. So they dropped that. But the rest of it uh, seemed to be in there all right. And, uh... Uh, I was still a little bit leery, so, uh, you know, I start looking, you know, going through the, the damn uh, ads for women and, you know, looking for anybody remote who might remotely be interested in this. So I find this, some chick, and, I, and, and, and you know, it's completely hopeless. But I go to message her, you know, which is totally free, where you can surf the ads. There, there's a whole lot of stuff that they have made unavailable to cheapskates. But the, the two things that uh, obviously they want you to go on there and search the site for free. Uh, but uh, all of the other bells and whistles they've already erased, but the one that they left it, it, it is that you can message people for free. So I, I go to you know to email this chick at Pile of Fish, and guess what? 
the, the, this fucking screen comes up where they want eighty dollars, eighty fucking dollars. Uh, it's forty dollars for three months or eighty dollars for twelve months. Uh, if you want now a pile of fish, and this is probably already true with the other ones or will be soon enough, uh, if, if you want to send a message to somebody, uh, they, they, they really got creative with this. They now call it, instead of messaging, they call it first contacts. So if you go in there now and, and you Google, is it still free to message people on Pile of Fish, how they very creatively worded it, it says it is absolutely free to message people you are already in contact with. So like, you, you know, if you've already started uh, a message stream with somebody. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying. You can continue talking to them. Uh, however, if you want to message somebody who you have never contacted before, it's now called a first contact instead of a message. It's totally free to message people that you've already been in contact with. But to make a first contact is going to cost you a bare minimum of 40 fucking, it's going to cost you between 40 and $80 now to, uh, you know, to send a fucking message in a bottle. And, you know, fuck this. So I'm I'm assuming what it means that that it, that if some woman does read my profile and she is crazy enough to answer it, that if she wants to spend the fucking forty to eighty dollars, you know, to respond to my profile, she can shell out the fucking money. And so then I'm in contact with her. So I'm assuming if one of us spends the fucking 40 to 80 bucks, that if I receive a message from a woman, that I can respond back to her. Because I have received two messages from women in just the past week. So they, they met, you know, they contacted me and I had no problem, you know, responding back and we got into a conversation that went nowhere, of course. But uh, anyway, the chances of that happening. But anyway, that is how I have flushed yet another, uh, another night in my fucking life down the fucking toilet. Damn it, I could have been on Netflix instead of Pile of Fish wasting another fucking night uh, dealing with this shit. But anyway, as long as I'm sitting here talking to myself, you know, if anybody out there uh, has any interest at this point, uh, <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you are. You know, if you want to, if you want to head off... I'm thinking about maybe mid-January to uh, early March through there. Uh, I'm, I'm wide open for ideas what to do. Uh, you know, I know my way around uh, Costa Rica and Guatemala and Peru and Ecuador. Uh, so if anyone uh, has a wild hair to head out this winter, uh, <laughs> I am available as a travel buddy. So uh, just let me know and we will talk about it. Although uh, I'm pretty sure that whatever I end up doing this winter, I will be doing alone or at least with my little dog. 
<sighs> God damn, I'm pathetic. We, we're, we're just the biggest bunch of pathetic fucking humans. We, we do, we're just really pathetic. Uh, how I have been reduced to this. I, 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 how the fuck did I get in this position at age 63? Uh, <laughs> all the lonely hearts on pile of fish. But there's a lot of pissed off cheapskates on pile of fish right now. Uh, all right, I guess I'm going to head over to, to Netflix and see if they, uh, they have some special surcharge to watch a fucking movie on Netflix. What a fucking life. Here comes the brick wall. Here comes the black cloud and the brick wall. Fuck. Bye, guys.